What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the DIG DIY wireless earbuds with active noise cancellation I picked up using Amazon Prime for $69.99. Out of five stars, these earbuds get five out of five out of one customer review. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions to find out if these earbuds are any good. DIG DIY is a brand you've probably never heard of, myself included. There are some interesting little tidbits about this box that are off. You can definitely tell that this company is not based here in the United States. And last but not least, like I did mention previously, these earbuds only get one review. That review did give it five stars, which is good news. Uh, also, what is good news is that these earbuds do cost $69.99, which is a pretty steep price point for a pair of no-name earbuds. Uh, so you should get some semblance of quality here in terms of audio quality and in terms of build quality. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions to find out if these earbuds are any good. So here we have the DIG DIY True Wireless Earbuds. The first interesting tidbit about this box that I want to point out is it does say True Wireless Earbuds on the front, but True is spelled T-U-R-E instead of T-R-U-E. Just in case you were wondering, these are the D10. So you do get that on the front of the box. And if you do want to look these up on Amazon, just type in DIG DIY D10 and they will come right up. Also, I will leave a link in the description below so you can find them that way. So if we just take a look at the front of the box here, you can pretty much see that it does come with active noise cancellation. These earbuds do have a transparency mode. There are four microphones for reducing noise when on the phone with somebody. These earbuds are sweat proof, even though it doesn't specifically say what IP rating these get. What's nice is that you can, for the most part, exercise in them. And last but not least, this is probably the most interesting feature here. Uh, one that I have recently started noticing on earbuds in this price range, they do come with a wireless charging case. So that is really good to see. No tape on the front, which is really nice. You just get a little pull tab here, pull up on this flap here. Uh, as you can see here, you do get a pretty nice reading card on the front. It does say DIG DIY. It's a little envelope here that you probably uh, get, you know, some user information on. I think first impressions of this case are that it's actually a pretty good build quality here. Uh, it's just a pretty lightweight but kind of heavy duty plastic here for a consumer earbud you do get uh, probably some extra ear tips here in another little box as well as probably some charging cables let's go ahead and just get these earbuds out of their charging case here you can see they actually come wrapped in tape so you'll have to remove some of this tape to get them up and running to get them charging as you can see we're getting two out of the four led indicator lights to let us know that this is pretty much half charged there is also a blinking LED indicator light on that third light there. Not quite sure what that represents, but I'll have to look into that. What I can tell you is that the earbuds themselves are charging. We should be able to connect them fairly easily and fairly quickly. Uh, what's also really nice is I do want to point this out. Uh, you do get the DIG DIY D10 uh, notification here on your phone letting you know that these are the earbuds that you want to pair them with. Okay, so now that I have the wireless earbuds connected, which by the way, did take about under 30 seconds. It was fairly simple, it was fairly quick. I do just wanna quickly talk about how comfortable these earbuds are. Uh, they did come with the medium ear tips installed. You do get the choice of a smaller ear tip and a larger ear tip should they not fit you right out of the box. Usually with me, the medium ear tips fit just fine. Uh, they actually feel pretty secure, but what I did find out is the base is just a little bit heavier than say on the Klipsch T2 I reviewed last week. It's a little bit thumpier, but it's not overwhelming or overpowering. It actually sounds pretty good. It's pretty clear. It's a little bit bouncy, but I think it sounds pretty good overall, especially if you're listening to hip hop like I do. Uh, I did listen to a little bit of EDM, a little bit of rock and roll, 
Uh, the troubles, the vocals, all sounded crystal clear. So I think these should be pretty much good to work out in, to do physical activities in, housework in. They should pretty much for the most part stay in your ear. Maybe a little bit sketchy that they only get one review and that it does get five stars, but I think for the most part you're getting a pretty solid earbud here. For $69.99, you're getting an earbud with a lot of great features, water resistance, uh, wireless charging, and active noise cancellation. Not to mention, with all of those features combined, you do get a pretty outstanding battery life with these earbuds. Uh, industry leading, I would say, for this category. And like I said, they only cost $69. So you're getting some great features at an affordable price. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.